guys, it's JC Toils, and I'm back with another Adobe After Effects tutorial. This is going to be very, very simple. Um, this is my third one. And so I'm going to start off with some simple tutorials. If you haven't noticed, they can go into a little bit harder and more advanced tutorials later. So um, this is for beginners. And so I'm just going to show you what it looks like. It looks pretty nice, so don't get um, confused with the white screen, with the white lens flare actually is what it's called. And don't get confused with these ripples, it's just rendering, and it looks nice though. It kind of, I think it looks pretty good. So, <clears throat> all this is, is a lens flare texture and a text layer. So, if you want to learn how to do this, just watch it, and let's get on with this tutorial. First, you want to go into Composition, New Composition. I use 1920 by 1080. You can use whatever preset you want. And then you want to make sure it's five seconds and hit OK. So the first thing you want to do is go into Layer, New, Solid. You want to make sure that this is all the way black, and you can call that whatever. Hit OK. Now. I am going to push enter, I'm going to select this and hit enter, and I'm going to call it lens flare, since that's going to be a lens flare, you're going to select it again, and you're going to go into effect, generate, lens flare. What this is going to do is going to, it's going to create a lens flare, which um, is this effect, or actually just a sec, is this effect right here, the circle-ish, um, it's called a lens flare, so just keep that in mind. Now, <clears throat> if you don't see this circle right here, you're just going to go over here to the top where it says lens flare, select it, and you're just going to center it. So I think that's perfect. No, it's not perfect, but you get the main idea. So now what you want to do is go into the tools and you're actually done with the lens flare. You want to go into text. I'm just going to do some random font. Um, I have no idea what this is. Okay, yeah, now I know what this is. It's 28 days later. And actually, I did not mean to do that. So I'm just going to hit or select there Jake's tutorials. And that looks pretty nice. I'm not going to mess around with set, um, centering it because this, I'm hoping this will be pretty short. So once you've done this, you're going to be done with the text layer part. So what you're going to need is a texture, which you can go to Google, go to Google Images, and just type in texture, and it should pop up with something. So uh, I'm going to grab my texture. So just a sec. And I don't know if you can tell, but I'm trying to make this short so I don't have to do part one and part two. So I got my texture. It's called Texture 1. I just named it that for whatever reason. You are going to grab this. You're going to put it below the text layer. Make sure your text layer, texture, and then lens flare. That's the order it should be in. You're going to go into the mode, and if you don't have mode, just hit F4 to toggle to this. So, just want to remind you that. And you're going to go to the TR, the track map. map. I'm just going to call that. And you're going to go to the texture. You're going to go to none, where it says none. And you're going to make sure it's Luma and then your text layer. So, that's what it's going to look like. I'm just going to grab, go into the tools, make this a little bigger so that I can actually see my text. Um, you can kind of mess around with it. I think that looks fine, right, from where it is. Then you're going to go into the texture again. You're going to go to mode where it says normal, and you're going to go to classic color burn. And that will create that cool little effect. Now you have to do, the, to do this or else the text will appear. Um, it won't, um, I guess you can call fade out. I'm not quite sure what you would call that. But 
it's not going to disappear, let's put it that way. So you have to do that in this case. So what you're going to do next is you're going to go to your lens flare layer and you're also going to make sure that these two are checked, the texture and the lens flare. The text probably shouldn't because then it would turn to your color and that's not what you want. So you want to go to your lens flare, you're going to go to the drop down, go to the effects I believe, go to lens flare and you'll see flare brightness. You're going to set a keyframe and you are going to put that to around 240 to 250%. I'm just going to leave it at 250. And then you're going to go to around one second, put that to anywhere from 100 to 150. I'm just going to set it at 150. And then you're going to go to the end and you're going to set that to zero. Now, if you see, that's where it ends. And you really don't have to do any hard work. It does it for you. So, if you see that, um, I'm actually just going to change, wait. I'm just going to change the text to subscribe. Um, I think that's a lot better except for the exclamation mark. That doesn't make it look good. So, there it is. And now, you can subscribe. So, if you like this tutorial, please comment, rate, subscribe, and feel free to request any other After Effects tutorials, or actually any other tutorials of that sort. Um, Adobe programs, anything. I will try to I'll try my best to learn it, and I'll make a tutorial for you. So, again, please comment, rate, subscribe, and I hope to make some more soon.